so this is how the box looks like and very small as you can see and simple but you should know you are missing out something inside this box which we'll find out very soon once you open the box you are first welcomed with the iphone se 2020 on top the one here is a black color but there are other two colors in which you can go in for which is a red and white color we'll put this aside for now and again inside the box you have a usb type c to lightning cable for charging your device but no charging adapter included you also get a manual which i know most of you don't read yeah including me with apple stickers okay this is everything you can find in the box and now let's turn this bad boy on to see what it offers so whilst we wait for the iphone sc 2020 to boot up this has our main specs of the device you get a 4.7 inch retina hd screen with true tone display this device uses the a13 bionic cpu which can also be found in the iphone 11 series 3 gigs of ram runs on ios 15 and this one here comes with a 64 gig internal storage but you can also go in for the 128 gig internal storage if that is your choice the iPhone SE 2020 packs a 12 megapixel wide rear camera and a 7 megapixel front camera. The boot supports HDR and you also get stereo speakers on this device. In terms of battery, the iPhone SE packs 1821 mAh battery and it also supports fast charging so 20 watts and above and a front mounted fingerprint sensor on the home button. After setting it up, this is how the interface looks like. So should you buy the iPhone SE in 2022 and I'll say yes, these are my reasons. So I think the iPhone SE is better than the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8 with the same body build and small display screen. This SE offers more value as compared to that of the iPhone 8 and even the 7. So assuming in your situation you want a device that looks exactly like the iPhone 7 or the iPhone 8 but with a more improved CPU and you get other extra features then I think you should go in for the iPhone SE 2020. Software update is another major thing about this device. So with the iPhone SE 2020, you are surely going to get software and security updates for more years as compared to the other old iPhones in the same price range. iPhones like the iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone X which might not be getting updates after some years to come but the iPhone SE will still keep receiving updates because it uses the same chip found in the iPhone 11 which is the A13 Bionic chip. So once they cut off the iPhone 11 software update then you should know the SE will also be cut off. A good performance is another thing you get on this device. As I said earlier on, the iPhone SE 2020 uses the A13 Bionic chip which is powerful enough to handle everything you throw at it, including most of the biggest games found on the App Store. It might be a budget phone though, but inside here, you are getting a more powerful CPU with a budget experience. Next, the battery. Battery life is another good thing about this device. I'm not saying it has the best battery, but it is better than what you get on the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8 with the same design. For heavy usage, you can get up to 6 hours and some minutes of screen on time on this device which is good enough for some people. And it may even last you a day if you are not really a heavy user. So on this device has a 1821 mAh battery and it also supports 20 watt fast charging and higher to juice up your device faster. If for any reason you also prefer wireless charging, no worries because the iPhone SE 2020 supports wireless charging as well. The iPhone SE 2020 has just one 12 megapixel rear camera and a 7 megapixel selfie camera on the front. The cameras are absolutely great in any sort of bright lightning condition. The iPhone SE takes good and detailed photos, color accuracy are also on point. Another good feature about this device that makes it stand out from the other device with the same design is you get portrait mode on the iPhone SE 2020 which works on both the front and back camera. The purpose of this mode is for you to take images with blurred background. 
I wasn't able to keep the device for so long, but I can tell you the images from this device is on point, like they look very nice. The cameras are capable of recording videos in 4K at 24, 30 or 60 frames per second. You can also record 1080p videos at 30, 60, 120 and 240 frames per second, whilst the front camera is able to record in 1080p at 30 frames per second. These are some of my reasons why I think you can still get the iPhone SE 2020 in 2022. Leave me a comment if you are going to get one of these devices and anyways thanks for watching, like, share with your friends, subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one. Stay safe.